You know what's literally so annoying? Men. Men make zero sense. <sighs> they don't make sense. They are dumb. They're losers. <sighs> I have some stories um, that I want to talk, uh, talk to you. I want to talk about them because I'm pissed off. So, you know, we're going to start from the beginning. I started working at a movie theater in January, no, February 2020. And it was my first job. Um, and I started to like a guy that worked there with me. He, mad cute to this day, if he wasn't the way he is, I would still be obsessed with him. Kind of am still, but let's forget about that. So, first day after we closed, it was late because it's a movie theater. I was sitting outside waiting for my ride to get there. And he drove up next to me and he's like, hey, are you okay? And I'm like, I got, yeah, I'm fine. You know how it is. Like, a guy that's cute is being nice to me right now. What am I going to do? Um, days pass. I need a ride home one day. He gives me a ride home. He like, he went out of his way to give me a ride home because he lived across the street from the movie theater and I lived 15 minutes away. So he fully went out of his way and he waited in the driveway until I got inside. Right? What does that mean to me? It means... He's a nice person. He's caring. Maybe he likes me. I don't know. I get his Instagram. We chat here and there. Little sarcastic humor, you know, back and forth. I talk to my therapist about it. My therapist is like, he's flirting with you. And I'm like, oh, what? So, you know, COVID happens and we don't see each other forever, you know? And I wanna to talk to him. He hardly responds. He leaves me like alone, like he won't talk to me for months, literal months, multiple. And I don't know why, I'm just some dumb idiot or something. I waited for this man. Um, and as soon as he'd messaged me, I was like on, I was ready. I was messaging back. I was like, oh my god. You know what I mean? And I told him how I felt. And he was like, damn, wish you told me sooner. We could have made out after your shifts. <laughs> Sir, what? <laughs> so that was weird. You know? It's not something. It's not like rude. It's just like, why would you say that? And time passes more silence more nothing from him he comes at me with like yo woman no wait that was a different time so rude um he comes at me with this like thing i won't get into that because it's too much to talk about and he starts like being really flirty with me talking about like how good my ass looked in my pants while i was at work all this bullshit and he's like, oh, I'm so flirty when I'm drunk, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, do you want anything serious? And he's like, no, because I want to move to Europe. I don't want anything holding me back here. And I was like, okay. He just wants to sleep with me. And that's all he wanted to do. So, me being the idiot that I am, I sent a little flirtatious, suggestive message. And then silence. <laughs> To this day, he's still not said anything. I did literally see him though the other day. We'll get into that in a second. So it's been months since I've talked to this man and I meet this girl at my new job and we start talking and I was like, I used to work in a movie theater. And she's like, oh my God, I worked at the same one. I was like, do you know the guy? And she's like, yeah, I used to like him. And I was like, mind blown, you know? What are the odds that that happened? We start talking and he did the same things he did to me to her. 
almost the exact same things. He'd give her rides home. He would get drunk and like flirtatious with her. He like responds to when she posts attractive pictures. Like he did the same things to me that he does to her. And turns out he probably does them to like everybody. He's a big loser. He, I'm literally gonna trash him right now because I can. He lives in his mom's apartment in a makeshift bedroom that was once a living room. And he gets drunk all the time. He plays video games on his PC all the time. And he has worked at the same job since he was 16. And he's like 26. Um, he's not gotten a promotion. Same job for like 10 years. He's never moved like he keeps saying he will. I mean, I don't know him like super well. Maybe money's tight, I don't know. I know he's gone places, but he's back here. And he's still at the job. And he like messes with women. He just wants to have sex with them. So he does what he thinks works and it does work. Cause I was having, I was, I think you get it. Um, and that girl's still stuck on him too, basically. I mean, she said she wasn't, but the way she was talking about it, I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I s went to the movie theater the other day. I wanted to pick something up for my friend there. And he was there, of course. So I go up to my friend and he like, out of nowhere just is like, hey, you coming to work here again? And I was like, no. And he's like, we need more people. I was like, I got a new job. And I'm applying at another place anyway. And he's like, that place is dangerous. And I was like, yeah, but so is the place I work at now. And he's like, that's not good. Like, and then I just cut him off because I didn't care. Like, what? he had to talk to me. He just had to. Like, I know I'm hot, but like, gosh, leave me alone, dude. You won't message me back, but you're going to talk to me. Like, uninvited, talk to me. Just leave me alone. But he's still hot. It's so annoying. He's like so hot. But he's such a loser. <laughs> oh, I hate him. I hate him so much. Maybe one day he'll see this and I <laughs> I will think that's hilarious. Cause yo dude, you're a loser. My guy, you're an absolute loser. And that's how it is, you know? So next story. Um men. Am I right? That's what this whole video is about. Men are the worst. Um, they're the worst like 80% of the time. I've never had a really good interaction with a man before. Never in my life. Maybe my friends that are dudes, but nothing relationship-esque at all. So I'm on Tinder, I know, but a uh, girl gets lonely. <laughs> I've never dated anyone in my entire life, so and I'm 20. I want to date someone. <laughs> I'd like to do that. So I'm talking to this dude. We're vibing. He's like, I want to hear your voice. So we talk on the phone for two hours, vibing, like seriously vibing. We set up a date that night. Like, I'm thinking, whoa, he's talking about the future I'm like this is fast but I'm really vibing with him so I'm okay with it next morning I wake up we talk for a few and then he stops responding I'm like okay he probably had to go to work or something or he's in the middle of something day continues no text messages none um, I've sent him a couple things that made me think of him or whatever or just like a text like whatever nothing weird like pretty common normal stuff and no response then the day that we set our date to that we were supposed to go hang out which was today by the way um no message from him i message him on tinder again no message i message him on instagram no message um i call him it doesn't even finish ringing and then there's a voicemail <sighs> so he ghosted me It's not really the first time it's happened to me, but it's the most serious time it's happened to me because I was vibing with the dude. I was like, dang, 
I want him to meet my family, all this stuff. And he was like, silence. If he actually died, that would be crazy. But I think for real, he was just ghosting me. My whole family was so excited that I finally had a date because I've never dated anyone. <sighs> and then they were like, no, he didn't do that. I just thought he, that guys did that in movies. My sisters didn't even believe me. And <sighs> bro, wow, way to ruin a day. I mean, I didn't really actually care that much because I wasn't expecting it to work out. <laughs> So, I didn't want to get my hopes up, so I was like, he could probably ghost you, and he did. Wow, my worst case scenario in my head, and you did it. Awesome. I went to the mall anyway with my dad, um, did everything I was going to do with the guy, with my dad. Not in a weird way, we were just going to go shopping around the mall and get food, and I did that with my dad instead. <sighs> And I wouldn't say my dad even is the best guy ever. He's not. <laughs> like, he's just better than a lot of the dudes around my age. <sighs> to be completely honest with you guys, I'm bi. So I could easily be dating women. Oh, did I say easily? No. Because women that are gay don't exist here, apparently. <laughs> I mean, I like have a friend that's a lesbian and she somehow found a girlfriend around here but there's like no women that are gay around here apparently or like on tinder i guess like every woman i swipe right on they don't even match with me i think i have to move or something i don't get it the dudes suck there's no gay women i'm just by myself vibing well yeah that's uh, me riding the stationary bike and talking about my problems to a camera for you. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll probably do more of these because it's getting me to ride the bike without realizing I'm riding it. Um, so yeah. If you have any problems similar to mine, um, We'll get through this, hopefully. <laughs> okay. Don't like and don't subscribe.